everyone so today I am here with an exciting video if you remember back in January I showed you guys and I did a tutorial on a palette from deck of Scarlet which is a makeup subscription service and I am here with the second or this is actually the third but my second deck of Scarlet box these come out every other month you pay every two months it's $29.95 and so this is the March April edition edition number one and I'm really really excited about this I was very nervous when I first got this box because because, or at least this particular box because I was really scared about the colors but as you can see I did a whole tutorial I will put that at the end after my review and I'm actually I actually like it a lot and I didn't think I would I'm using like orange like I've never used orange eyeshadow so like I've said before, Deck of Scarlet is $29.95 every two months. You get a palette every other month. You can skip at any time. You can cancel at any time. But for some reason, if you missed this palette and you really, really want this one, it is available in their shop, which is super awesome. And the cool thing, that my favorite thing about Deck of Scarlet, is that they pair up and they team up with like YouTubers, which is incredible to me some youtubers I've never heard of before it helps me find new channels and they come up with some really cool stuff so let's open up this box it looks the same as all of the other ones you know you have your cards on top this box was actually curated by a youtuber called Yvonne I hope I say her name right Yvonne Wahab I believe I'm not too sure it says, in this palette, she will show you how to create mesmerizing looks with sunny brights, power browns, and charred greens. So that is the creator of this particular palette. And so this is what it looks like when you first open it up. As you can see, it does look a little bit different. There is actually, like, something on the palette versus just being a plain black like the last time I did one. It has, like, a girl, and it says Deck of Scarlet. It's really, really cool. And then there's also still your two pencils. So I'll briefly go, to, go through the two pencils, and then I'll show you guys the palette. So it comes with a lip pencil and an eye pencil so the lip pencil is the one that I am currently wearing it is in cake pop and as you can see it is a darker brown on me I am a very very fair skin tone so something like this is gonna look a little bit darker on me but I do really like it I literally just have the lip liner on it's really really smooth and I do think I could wear this on its own like I'm doing now like going out but I really really like this and then the other pencil is the eye pencil it's in the shade chameleon which I also have on my waterline and this is like a beautiful like mermaid green color really really pretty I love this color a lot. I think it looks really, really pretty. It helps make blue eyes, which is what I have, pop. Green eyes will most certainly pop with this. And then I think it will make brown eyes just look amazing. So those are the two pencils. And then, like, let me show you the palette. Okay, so like I said in the past month or the past couple months ago uh, when I got my first box the palette was very plain it was just like a plain uh, wrapping a plain palette it just said deck of scarlet this time it has this girl on it on the back there's some information uh, your chance at a spring awakening has arrived um, really cool has all the ingredients and just a little information about deck of scarlet again this is just the sleeve so you pull it out and this is the actual palette it's really really nice and on the back it says edition number one so again just like last time there are two flaps that open the first is the shadows and then the two cheek colors and the second are the two lip colors and these are closed by magnets so I'll show you guys the eyeshadows first and of course there is a mirror which is extremely helpful so these are the eyeshadows and as you can see looking at these when I first got this I was like Oh boy, how am I going to make a look using this? Because I am a very neutral eye person. The only sort of colors that I ever really branch out and use are purples and burgundies. Other than that, I kind of stick to the same colors. I would never have thought to use an orange. I've used a green in the past with a gold and I used to like it. So I wasn't too sure or I wasn't too scared of the green. But the orange, I was just like... Do you think they'll notice if I don't use it? <laughs> so I did use every single color. You guys will see that. So the two cheek colors are Halo and Sandstorm. Sandstorm is actually a beautiful contour shade. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it reminds me a lot of Hoola by Benefit. It's a really nice sort of like taupey shade, which I personally prefer. I think taupey contour shades on fair skin tones. It just complements us so well and of course on other skin tones as well. I actually use Sandstorm today though as an eyeshadow because I had already done my contour. I totally forgot. But um, I really liked it as a transition eyeshadow. And then Halo is the highlight. I was a little intimidated by it at first because it is a little bit of a darker highlight. I, of course I tend to go more towards like the pearl highlighters or the light champagnes. This is more of a true champagne color and I think it works really, really well. I have it on my cheekbones and then I also have it in my inner corners and I like it a lot. 
And then of course the top three colors are your eyeshadows. The first one here is Fudge. It's a matte chocolate brown. Really a staple in anybody's collection. If you don't already have a matte chocolate brown, you might as well get one. Uh, but this is really nice. It helps kind of complement this look together and I use that. I kind of created a bit of a halo eye. I did a little bit of it on the outer corner. I brought it up into the crease and then I have it on the inner corner as well. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do a halo eye today. And then the next shade is Sunshine, which is that bright, shiny orange shade. That is the brightest orange I have ever seen. Um, it doesn't transfer as bright as it does in the palette here in the pan, but it still is a pretty, I mean, I packed it on and it still is a pretty bright orange. So all I did with that is just put it in the center of my lids. And again, before I even finished my look, I was staring at it and I was like, why did I do this? because I was not happy with it, but looking at it now, I'm very pleased. And then the last shade is perfectly named Mermaid. It's a beautiful, like, mermaid green color. It is so, so pretty. I was going to use that in the crease, but I was like, that might be too much color for me. So I actually have it smudged along my lower lash line with the pencil, and I think it looks a lot better, in my opinion. So those are the shadows in the cheek shade. So then you can close this side open up this side which are the lip colors now these I am not going to lie I am absolutely terrified to use I am NOT a huge fan of dark chocolate browns and I am NOT a fan of oranges but these colors are pretty 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 for deeper skin tones um, the top color is called coral kisses I might as well just swatch them if they are what I anticipate they're gonna be super creamy so let's just do it together oh and they are my finger just digs right in. This is actually, it looks kind of bright orange, but yeah, when you swatch it, it is a true, true coral. Like, that is a bright neon coral, which is really pretty. Again, I just don't think those look good on my skin tone, so I didn't use that one. And then the one below that is called Almond, which again is just a chocolate, true chocolatey brown. Ooh, that one is like way creamy. Also, it looks like chocolate. Like, I just dipped my finger in. I could like, I could lick it. It looks just like a Hershey Kiss. It has a little bit of a reddish tone to it, but it is still, you know, definitely a chocolate brown kind of color, which again, doesn't look good on my skin tone, but you kind of run that risk when you have sort of like a, not a mystery necessarily, but sort of like a subscription service that could technically be a mystery to you if you don't read anything or look at any YouTube videos. Um, you run that risk of potentially not liking something, so I definitely do not like those colors for me. However, I do love the lip pencil, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick with that. But... Those are the two lip colors, and then this is just what the palette looks like in full if you wanted to get the full effect. I think this is still an incredible subscription service for someone who loves makeup, who loves trying new things. I think $29.95 for every other month is a perfect deal to get a full palette. A whole new look. Like, I would never have tried this at all. Like, if I had seen this palette in Sephora, I would have completely passed it up. I would have been like, oh no, that orange, no thank you. But actually trying it on, I do really, really like it. Um, so I am really pleasantly surprised with this March-April edition of Deck of Scarlet. And if you guys would like to subscribe, I will always put the link down below in the description. But that is it for my general review. I will do the tutorial next.
Alright, so that is it for my Deck of Scarlet review and tutorial video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.